By the time I finish this sentence, more than 500 million users on Twitter will have sent over 37,000 tweets. By the end of the day, these users will send more than 400 million tweets. There's clearly a lot of conversation happening on social media, but what can it actually tell us? Hi, I'm Joshua Stevens, a second year PhD candidate in geography at Penn State's GeoVista Center. As part of the IGER in Big Data Social Science, I'm working on a project that attempts to make sense out of this torrent of tweets. Humans are very social, and we are now more connected to each other and various sources of information than ever before. We enjoy talking about the events happening around us, sharing our successes, lamenting our failures, and distributing information in times of crisis. The internet and social media allow us to do this on a global scale. This means that where people are talking about is just as important as what people are talking about. Now you may be thinking, doesn't Twitter already record my location and include it with my tweets? It certainly can, but less than 1% of all tweets include geolocation data. So the more difficult question, and the concept we're interested in, is how do we determine the geographic context of the other 99% of tweets? And more importantly, how can we determine the locations people are talking about, not just the locations they're tweeting from? To do this, we've created a tool called SensePlace2. SensePlace2 works by analyzing tweets to identify topics and locations mentioned in the text. We use sophisticated entity extraction and geolocation algorithms to map the places mentioned in each tweet, pairing mentioned locations with both a tweet and a timestamp. When this is done for hundreds of millions of tweets, there's simply too much information to take in all at once. This is where advanced cartography and interactive features, the key elements of geovisual analytics, come into play. Let's take a look at SensePlace2 in action to see how this works. We'll run a search using the term protests. You might reason that some places will mention protests more than others, but where are mentions of protests more common, and which locations tend to get mentioned with protests at the same time? SensePlace2 can help us explore these questions. The map view shows all the locations that are mentioned in tweets containing our search term. A place tree view in WordCloud show the most frequent place mentions in our search results. The dark red areas in the timeline reveal that tweets mentioning protests were more frequent earlier in the year. We'll constrain our search to this time period by adjusting the temporal controls. Notice that the top locations are different now. With SensePlace2, users can explore the geographic landscape of tweets in an intuitive, interactive way. By enabling analysts to understand the what, when, and where of social media, our research demonstrates how geovisual analytics can support spatial understanding and the interpretation of enormous and complex data sets. This enriches our ability to ask important questions about the topics that affect people and places and how these relationships change over time. On behalf of the SensePlace2 team, thank you for viewing our video.